Have you ever wondered how pro players are always auto-correcting their sure you cans? Well, I got a pro player here. Pro, pro, pro right here. <laughs> so Welcome <laughs> to the Air Bear Dojo six years later, possibly seven. I think around seven years. Yeah, I couldn't make it past the first month. <laughs> I couldn't make it past the first month. Say hello to our new set here, Kenny. Hello. Yo, this set here. is sick. Yeah. <laughs> like, dude, I can't believe Bear had like arcade cabinets. This is the Felix. Listen, man, when you uh, don't play Street Fighter for five years, you make a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> you actually make so, real money, right? Real money, you actually so. make real money, not, not trying to make money off of Street Fighter. So here we go. So you're the Ryu Pro. I was the Ryu Pro. Teach us about this autocorrect Shoryuken. This is something that I see, admittedly, a lot of top players do. And it feels like the input kind of changes in certain games. It was extremely easy in Street Fighter 4. Yes. And it's a little bit different in this game, I think. Or yeah. no, you, you're the pro, you tell it's me. It's actually a little bit harder if you're trying to do the previous command in 4. Okay. I think it's because the arc is very different. Let's say when you jump, it... Look at that. Yeah, I yeah, press yeah. my cross up quite early, it still hits. Well, it's JP. Yeah, so He's yeah. taller. But it hits. Yeah. When it comes to previous Street Fighter, it doesn't hit. It'll usually whiff. So your timing, it's a little bit different. But right now, it's very... How, how do I say? It's really strict, the timing. Okay. Okay, so your command needs to uh, change a little bit to make it easier. Back in the days, autocorrect means you still do it in the same direction where you can just do DP here. When you jump over, it'll come out. But right now, in this version, it doesn't come out. It doesn't come out. Okay. But before, it will come out. Interesting. So in this game, there are times that you can do this command that I just did and it still works. But those kind of arc is really hard, but you don't know when they're going to use that kind of jump in attack. Yes. So instead, you can do like a quarter circle forward and a quarter circle backward. Okay. You see that arrow here? Yeah. This way, you will get it. Doesn't matter which kind of arc it is. Interesting. In. Okay. So we'll try right now. You can do like... Like that. Nice. So a punish counter, that's mean like you counter their normal attack. Yes. Yeah, yeah. That was like optimal. Oh, okay. Okay, I like optimal. What sure you can are you using? I'm right using now? the medium because it gives you like the most invincibility. But okay. it also works if you use the jab in this game, but the fierce one it won't work. The fierce, yeah, the fierce, the fierce one's one is too slow. slow. Too slow, okay. Because the, the light one is the fastest, medium one is probably the most optimal because yes. it's a mix of speed and yes. damage. And then heavy is just too slow. Yeah, it's just that in this game, they give you the most invincibility if you use the medium one. And of course the EX. EX, okay. So is that, does that apply? So I guess if I'm on the other side, you obviously, you will start from down back. Right. And you'll make your way forward. So I'm gonna do a right. jab, jab, jump over, nice. So and you then, can see that that was a counter attack too. I, wonder, I thought punish counter was when you punish a move. So yes. it's on recovery. Yes. Yeah, and then uh, counter hit is while it's on active range. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, so yeah, I okay. punish your normal, if that makes sense. Yes. yes let's say I punish your with normal, okay. if that makes sense. All right, so let's, uh, I'm, I'm gonna just try, try one more time. I'm gonna do it. Wow. Try as many times as you want. <laughs> Bro, this is the new era of making <laughs> autocorrect DP. Three for six, baby. Okay. Oh, oh I what happened? I missed. Hey, this is <laughs> I'm a human. I'm a human. Okay, okay. Pros you're are human. human. That's true. That's you guys true. know that, right? I have a... <laughs> you're not a level 8 <laughs> CPU in this. All right, so I'm not an AI. Just to wrap this video up, I just want to put ourselves in one situation here, something that you see very commonly. You're going to go for a wake up grab. Okay. I'm going to jump over you, and then you will, I guess, input the autocorrect DP while you're going for this. So grab. I try to n punish you during your escape. Exactly. Oh, yeah. yeah, that was good. Try try one more time. Yeah, you guys just look at the uh, arrow there, which bear will zoom in. That's exactly yeah. how I did the command. That is so cheap. Yeah, but you still get an escape. Wow, wow. Yeah. Yeah, this is something that I'm always so interested in because I, I don't know, I feel like it's slightly different because of the jump arcs in each it game. It is different because when I played the uh, beta, I felt like I missed a lot of uh, autocorrect DP, especially yeah. when they do their jump light attack. I felt like it was close to impossible. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I had to use alternatives like different normals to punish normals. that. It took us a while too to figure out the this way to do it. I think this method worked in the previous Street Fighter as well, but oh. I think it was less consistent. Yeah. Well, at least I didn't use it. But oh. I think in this one, this is the only way to do it, like to make it consistent. 
Awesome. The awesome. other way was really hard. And it took us a while too, so it took me a long time to practice. Well, there you guys have it. That is the autocorrect DP by the Air Ryu specialist here, the our sensei here. So thank you. I hope you guys learned something. Absolutely, I definitely did. So if you guys want to check him out on Twitter, his links are down below. Like this video, we're gonna have a lot more of these quick guides to help you in your Street Fighter 6 journey. Thanks for watching guys, bye bye.